Authorities in Johnson County are investigating catalytic converter thefts in vehicles outside several businesses. As CBS 4's Max Lewis reports now, that includes preschool buses. The Kid City Academy here in Franklin has been the target of catalytic converter thieves three times in the past six months. They've had to shell out thousands of dollars to not only make repairs, but to try and keep it from happening again. They literally pulled up to the side. Um, it was the passenger side and they it took them. They were probably here four minutes and they and it was over with. Each of Janella Salyer's buses have been hit within the past six months, each time costing them around $3,000 to replace the converter. They purchased protective casings for each bus for another $3,000, and they're now paying $22,000 to add lights to their parking lot. The bills have grown so large, Salyer's and her husband have had to dip into their life savings. This is a mom and pop, you know, business. So my husband and I are five children, and um, you know, like I said, I've been battling cancer for five years, so we money's tight for us. So for this to kind of come up is very discouraging. They're not alone in dealing with this problem. Adventures Childcare in Greenwood had a catalytic converter stolen from one of their buses at the end of October. Carpet Country, also in Greenwood, says it had one stolen off of its work vans several months ago. They're such targets because you don't have to do anything with a the vehicle. They slide under there, they cut them off, and they're gone. Detective Joe Pierce with the Johnson County Sheriff's Office says the thefts have been shifting away from personal cars towards businesses with buses or small vans. Pierce says it has been a major issue recently, but it's getting better. And then we did our first audit of the, the buyers and it dropped drastically. Okay. Um, I think across the board we probably saw 75 to 80 percent decrease in the amount of reports we were taken. Despite that, Pierce says it's still something to be aware of and Salyers hopes the most recent incident will be their last. For this to happen this many times in such a short amount of time is, you know, very disheartening. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office says the best way to keep thieves from getting their hands on those valuable parts is to park vehicles in well-lit areas and put up cameras. Detective Pierce says if this does happen to you, it's best to give police a call right away. In Franklin, I'm Max Lewis, CBS 4 News.